back for another interesting lesson. After learning the different types of plate boundaries, let us study the different effects of plate tectonics on the Earth's lithosphere. But before that, let us recall the three types of plate boundaries. Give your idea about the three types of plate boundaries. I will give you time to think. The three types of plate boundaries are divergent, convergent, and transform fault boundary. Divergent plate boundary is the first type of plate boundary wherein plates move apart. The second type of plate boundary is known as the convergent plate boundary where plates collide. The third type is a transform fault boundary where plates slide or grind past each other. Now, let's proceed to the processes that occur along convergent boundaries and determine the consequences of colliding plates. In the event of collision of two plates with a continental edge and oceanic edge, it will give rise to the formation of a volcanic arc near the edge of a continental leading plate. The reason behind this is the subduction process or the bending of crust towards the mantle. Trench is a geologic feature formed for the oceanic crust. Another effect of the grinding of plates against each other is the occurrence of earthquakes. In convergence of two oceanic plates, trenches formation will occur. The trenches will become sources of earthquakes. Tsunami can be generated. Do you know that Philippines originated from oceanic-oceanic convergence? Next is the converging of two continental plates. In this convergence, subduction ceases. No trench, no volcano, and no island arc formed in the process. Mountain range or large group of tall mountains are formed. Example of this is the collision of Indian and Eurasian plates resulting to the formation of Himalayas. Shallow earthquakes result to the collision of two continental plates. In divergence of plates, formation of reef valleys and oceanic ridges will occur due to the spreading and splitting of plates. The Mid-Atlantic Ocean Ridge is an example of a spreading center. When reef valley increases in length and depth, the valley may develop into a linear sea, just like the Red Sea today. For transform fault boundaries, the example is the San Andreas Fault. Earthquake activities happen along the fault system. Alright, this time, get your paper and pen and write the processes that occur along plate boundaries. Converging continental plate and oceanic plate. Converging oceanic plates. Converging Continental Plates Diverging Plate Boundary Transform Fault Boundaries So we have learned the processes that occur in plate boundaries. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. See you again in the next video.